Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Shakira Love and on this channel I do reaction videos. So if that's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also like the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of video you guys would like to see or how you actually feel about the video. All right, so today we have top 10 bizarre religion you never knew existed. Mm okay all right so this video is from most amazing top 10 so shout out to most amazing top 10 and yeah let's get into the video it's believed that there are roughly over 4,000 religions in the world the most popular ones being christianity islam and hinduism but there's lots of other religions that you probably have never heard of from people that believe in invisible pink unicorns to a religion that worships Elvis Presley. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have the Prince Philip Movement. This is a religion in which the Yonanan tribe of the southern island of Tana believe that Prince Philip is a divine being. A local legend states that he is the son of a mountain spirit and brother of John Froome. He is believed to have traveled overseas to a distant land to marry a powerful woman. Well, when the villagers were greeted by Queen Elizabeth, they saw how local officials responded to her presence. So they thought that this is the powerful woman from the legend, meaning her husband, Prince Philip, must be the man from the legend. So there's a religion out there devoted to worshiping Prince Philip. They even have a huge religious festival every year on June 10th, his birthday. Coming in at number nine, we have Universe okay. People. The Universe People, sometimes called the Cosmic People of Light Powers, is a Czech religion centered around the belief that ETs are out there communicating directly to their leader, Ivo Benda, who is also the founder of this religion. According to Benda, there are aliens living in a fleet of ships in our solar system orbiting Earth. This is led by a being named Ashtar who watches down on the people of Earth. His goal is to find good and loyal followers and transport them to another dimension. At least they aren't eagle aliens ready to destroy Earth. In our eighth spot, we have... I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I do believe that there's aliens out there, but... I don't know if they're, if they're communicating with him. You know what I'm saying? But I do believe that there's aliens out there. Have Jediism. Have you ever wanted to be a real life Jedi from Star Wars? Well, now is your chance. Jediism is a religion in which they believe in the light side and dark side as seen in the Star Wars movies. This religion is based in Texas and has a code that all followers must practice. It's called the 16 Teachings of the Jedi. It combines values from the Star Wars movies with beliefs from Buddhism and Taoism. But don't worry, they don't believe in Darth Vader or Jawas. It's more so the force that they believe in. The force to them is a philosophical or spiritual guide to life okay. number seven well i could see that um i do believe that people have a light side and a dark side i do believe that but i, I don't believe in this star wars shit you know what i'm saying we have Presbyterian Church. This is another religion that worships a celebrity as a divine being. By the name of it, can anyone guess who the celebrity is? None other than Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. So obviously the followers of this religion worship Elvis, but they also have to follow 31 commandments. Some of them being to eat six meals a day with frequent snacking in between. They also have to face Las Vegas once a day and make a pilgrimage at least once in their lives to Graceland, Presley's old mansion, upon many other things they have to do. This religion has about 200 followers, and once a week they hold weekly services online. In our sixth spot, we have the Church of Euthanasia. This next religion actually developed quite the cult following. So the Church of Euthanasia was founded in 1992 in Boston. They believe that the world is dying because of overpopulation. So they have their followers take their own lives in order to try and restore the balance in humanity. They even set up an assistance hotline where people can call in and sell Someone will help them take their own life. Obviously, it's a very, very dark and controversial religion. We're now yeah, that's disturbing. Like, that sounds like suicide murder or murder-suicide to me. 
You know what I'm saying? You're taking your own life or somebody's helping you take your life. That's crazy. What are you trying to say? Nah. And halfway mark with frisbee -tarianism. This one has to be one of the funniest religions on this list. Basically, Frisbeetarianism is the belief that when you die, your soul goes up on the roof and gets stuck. Like when a frisbee is thrown and gets stuck on a roof and is just left up there. Now, this religion was a parody of other religions really? that believe in life after death. It was founded by American actor and comedian George Carlin. Shockingly enough, you got people who believe in this and follow the ways of Frisbeetarianism. In our I don't know. Maybe he was I when he was um thinking about this or coming up with this because this don't make no sense. Spot, we have the invisible pink unicorn. I swear, things just keep getting weirder and weirder. This next religion has followers that worship an invisible pink unicorn. According to them, they believe that the world was created by a pink, invisible, unicorn-shaped goddess. In fact, she likes to steal socks. Hence why your socks just randomly always go missing and you hardly have a complete set because the invisible unicorn is stealing them. Or if you find a hole in your sock, that is a sign that the invisible pink unicorn has pierced it with her holy horn. If your white socks turn pink in the wash, that's also another sign that you have been in the presence of the pink unicorn. This religion okay. was actually founded by an atheist group who created this religion as a way to discredit other religions. They took this seriously though because they created a full manifest festo and everything. Coming in at number three, we have the Aetherius Society. The Aetherius Society is a religious movement founded by George King in the mid-1950s. He believed that he was in contact with extraterrestrial beings who he called cosmic matters. This religion mixes beliefs of ufology with some Buddhist, Hindu, and Jewish beliefs. So there are around 650 members, and they believe that by praying to and worshiping these ETs, that they are preventing total destruction of of the earth. In fact, they believe that they already stopped a number of worldwide disasters from happening through their practices. Currently, they are waiting for the next master to come to earth, which is basically a flying saucer that Then why the hell they didn't try to stop COVID? from the heavens that has great magical powers. In our second spot, we have the Maradonian Church, another religion focusing on worshiping a celebrity. And this time, it's football player Diego Armando Maradona. This religion was created in 1998 by his loyal fans and followers. And now a number of people worldwide follow this religion. They apparently have 10 commandments that they follow. They go as so. Number one, the ball is never soiled. Number two, love football above all else. Number three, declare unconditional love for Diego and the beauty of football. Four, defend the Argentina shirt. Five, spread the news of Diego's miracles throughout the universe. Six, honor the temples where he played in his sacred shirts seven don't proclaim diego as a member of any single team eight preach and spread the principles of the church of maradona nine make diego your middle name and ten name your first son diego pretty wild oh hell no me. so who's trying to create a religion where people worship me listen no make no sense see i'm jamaican and so i could appreciate football but this don't make no sense Eh? And in our number one spot today, we have Pastafarianism. If you thought any of these <laughs> religions were weird, wait until you get a load of this one. Pastafarianism is a religion that centers around the belief that the world was created by a flying spaghetti monster 5,000 years ago. Yes, you heard me. A <sighs> flying spaghetti monster created life as we know it. Not only that, but he was drunk when he created the world. This religious yeah. concept was founded by a 24-year-old Oregon State University physics drunk. graduate, Bobby Henderson, in 2005. It started off initially as a joke until he started getting a bunch of followers He's a joke. and believers. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these religions you thought was the wildest or weirdest. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout-out portion. I'll be shouting out comments they're all weird. Makes no sense whatsoever. Unicorn society, really? What are we, five? But yeah. 
but thanks for watching the video today guys um thanks for tuning in um remember to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video guys and comment um yeah so you can help this channel grow and um yeah let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in the comment section down below and yeah that's it for this video thank you for tuning in and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye